What's up guys? So, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today I'm going to be showing you guys my whole scooter collection, that being parts, clothes, new and old. I'm going to be showing you guys all the parts that I still have throughout my whole riding career. And I know I mentioned this before in one of my earlier videos, but I was riding from about 2011 to maybe 2015 stopped until about last year that being 2020 and uh yeah so i've been in the game for a while just not for all of those years yeah i don't really know how i'm gonna do this exactly like what to start with first but um all right i guess we'll do scooters first like complete scooters before we start if you guys are not already i would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, I'm really just trying to grow my YouTube channel as much as I possibly can in 2021. And I know with your guys' help, I could do that. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, you enjoy scooter content, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. It truly helps me out a lot. So let's get into the first part of this collection. <clears throat> oh, this right here is my first complete scooter. I've done a video on this setup already. Definitely one of my favorite setups that I've had. Got the Envy Deck, Blunt Envy Deck actually. It's the first part they made in America where they started calling themselves Envy. They used to be called Blunt, if you guys didn't know. So yeah, this is probably from like 2012. These, um, got some Lucky T Wars on here with an old Dan Barrett Phoenix sticker and John Reyes Phoenix sticker. John Reyes and Dan Barrett used to ride for a company called Phoenix that doesn't exist anymore. But um, yeah, some of you guys might not even know that. <clears throat> Phoenix was a huge company in the game a few years ago. Made some of the best parts, had one of the best teams. So yeah, we got Lucky T-Bars. Uh, I forget what grips these are. Yeah, I'm not sure. Full Proto SES with a Proto Senior Fork, also something you guys might not have seen yet if you are a younger rider or haven't been riding for that many years. Then we have an 841 wheel in the front, again, something you might not have seen. 841 doesn't really exist anymore, but it's a company that I believe, I don't know if it was run by Zig Short and Corey Van Loo, but um, they were a big part of it. And then uh, we got an old Proto wheel in the back, and I think this is a Phoenix Flex Fender. This setup right here, if you guys have been watching my channel for like, I don't know, a few months, then you would have seen me riding this setup right here. I got the T-bars that they made, full Proto SES, that's super old. Vault Velocity headset, Ethic Marrow Fork, also super old. And then we got the Box Ethic Volcane deck. This is the perfect hybrid scooter because the deck is still 5.1 with boxed ends and it's actually super light for a deck this size. This setup is really light, really good for park or street tricks. So we got a Phoenix wheel in the back and a Proto wheel in the front. Perfect hybrid setup. Every setup I have, I say it's one of my favorite setups. Ugh. Next up, we got the Phase 2 Dirt Scooter. Phase 2 is like a sub-company of Razor, or it's just Razor's line of Dirt Scooters, and they also made some higher tier Pro Scooters under Phase 2. I believe this is like the first Dirt, first dirt Scooter that came out, probably. This thing is super sick, also old. I got it in like 2012 or 13, but um, yeah, I recently went to pump the tires just so I can ride it again. And I was messing around on it the other day. I posted um, an Instagram reel on it. So you should check that out if you haven't already. My Instagram is jkowardscoot. Next up, we have my current setup, street build. Yeah, we got the Brian Noise V2 SIG deck. Such a sick deck. Proto Baby Slayer bars, Proto Baby SES. AO Pentacle Fork, which I'm actually really liking, and then some signature Jordan Clark River Wheels. Yeah, great setup. Let's go to the clothes now. So here we have an 841 shirt, 841 wheels, 
like I said before, I'm not sure if this company um, was run by Zig Short and Corey Van Lu, but they were heavily tied to it. Um, if it wasn't them, I'm pretty sure it was by the or old owners or same, like, I know that the people at AO, at Alpha Omega, had something to do with this company also. So yeah, this was a sick shirt. I think I won it at um, a raffle when Zig Short and Corey Van Lu came to Spokesman Cycles, an old bike shop by me that um, used to have scooter parts and it was like the only only shop around here in New York that really had scooter parts and uh, John Reyes used to work there. So a bunch of pros from all over would come do meetups there through John. John would set it up. up. We got the Proto Scooter shirt and believe it or not, I actually, I'm pretty sure that I bought this shirt off Cryptic in like 2012. I've been shopping at Cryptic forever. So yeah, Proto shirt, it's like the OG Proto shirt. I wish it still fit me. Next up, got the Elite's footwear hoodie, signed by Zig Short and Corey Van Lu. Short and Corey Van Lu. I don't think either one of these guys ride anymore. Zig Short made this song called Scoot Scoot Bang Bang. Now that I think about it, that's extremely cringy. But at the time, everyone is rocking with it because it's scooter support. So I asked them to write that on my hoodie. Scoot Scoot Bang Bang. Because they, they also rode for Elites. So I was like, I had the Elites hoodie. I met them. I was like, yo, sign my hoodie. Old Phoenix wheel. I have the other one on my ethic setup, pretty sick. Old proto wheel that my brother got for me in 2014. Shout out to Justin. Again, I have the other one on my uh, on my ethic setup. Here we have Envy tri bearing wheel, extremely wide, and it has tread on it. I don't know if you could see it, but sick design. Um, John Reyes gave this one to me at the skate park a few weeks ago, months ago maybe, so shout out to John. These Envy grips that I probably should throw on my Ethic setup. We have this Sean White Supply Co deck. Um, one of my friends actually gave this to me, I think for my birthday. Again, this is like 2012. It's pretty cool to have. Especially since I have it after so many years. So. Sean White deck. Sean White's a pro snowboarder. I'm pretty sure Sean White has never stepped foot on a scooter in his life, but of course he had to make the scooter line because action sports and you know his name sells. I'm sure he made a quick buck off of those. Maybe not. These bars are actually kind of funny to see now, especially for some of you guys, I'm sure, because again, younger riders haven't been riding for as long as I have. These bars are technically three piece, right? You have this bar, this handlebar, and then this little clamp piece that pieces them together. These bars are off of my first pro scooter, which was the Mad Gear Pro. I want to say 2011 edition. Yeah, I actually also probably bought this scooter off of Cryptic in 2011. When, uh, when this scooter was being shipped to me, we missed the delivery at my house, so we had to go to the post office to pick it up. We were supposed to go to Maloof after skate park, local skate park. Me, my mom, and my friend Roman, and me being 10 years old, I, I had to build this thing. It was I didn't know anything about building scooters. I think I just kind of figured it out on the fly at the post office. But funny thing, maybe not funny, but weird thing, I just remember being in the post office trying to set up this scooter, and I just almost fainted. I, I don't know how. It was so weird. At the time, nothing else like that has happened to me before. Like, it was like the first time it's ever happened to me. Just setting up the scooter. I just remember my vision turning really white. I couldn't see everything. Couldn't see. Everything was just turning white. And I started getting really dizzy. So I just kind of sat down for a second. And then after a few minutes, I was good. Built up the scooter like a beast. And then went to Maloof. So yeah, those are fun times also. We are nearing the end of my collection, kind of. Here we have these super old district bars. Again, I think I ordered these off of Cryptic, like 2012 for Christmas. 
But um, yeah, I was super hyped to get these because I think they're aluminum. They were like one of the lightest bars at the time. They were sick. They were supposed to go on that mad gear setup instead of those bars that I just showed you. I don't remember exactly what happened. I think it was like an issue of like standard versus oversized or like a compression issue. But yeah, these didn't fit sadly. So I think I, I had to sell them to one of my friends. And just a few years later, I don't know how, I ended up getting them back. So I'm not complaining though. I like having this collection. Now for the last two things, Phoenix Session Deck. I just remember being super hyped that this deck had the P cut out on it because some of the older Phoenix decks from a few years before this, they had the P cut out like this and it was super sick. I just never had one. A few years later, when they bought the P cut out back, the same one that they did on the integrated deck, I was super hyped. If I can find like pictures or videos of me riding these old parts, um, I'm just gonna throw them up on the screen when I show you the parts. So yeah, this, I, I know I have a P clip somewhere. You're adding this setup. All right. Last but not least for my scooter collection, we have the Razer A deck. Yeah, I got this thing probably when I was like six years old. Then when I was like 10 or 11 years old, I thought I wanted to start skateboarding. And I did for like a year. I tried it, I messed around and I went to the skate park a few times and I remember just seeing kids on scooters throwing like inward bry flips and doing all this crazy stuff. And I was like, forget this skateboard, I want a scooter. So I had this at home. Then we found out about that bike shop that I was talking about. And um, I took this in there just to see if I can like upgrade it a little bit. I don't know, maybe like get some new grips or something. And I didn't know much. So when I went in there, I mean, I came in with my scooter and told him exactly that, like I want to just upgrade it a little bit. And he said, hold on, there's a kid in the back who rides for Proto and uh, he'll come out and help you. And my mind just went, cause like I, Proto was like the only scooter company I've heard about. And um, just by chance, like there was this pro rider working at this shop and that's John Reyes. He bolted the deck. You guys do not know about that for sure. At this time, like 2010, 11, and a little bit before that, people would ride these Razer decks and ride Razer Pro models, and they're foldable, so this head tube part that connects to the deck has a lot of give, and to reinforce it, you put a bolt through here, and it stays solid. So yeah, bolted Razer foldies. That's definitely new to some of you guys. You might have heard of it before. But yeah, I have a few signatures on here. I have no idea who that one is, but um, yeah, this one's John Reyes. And this one is John Zagara, kid who used to ride for Blunt Scooters, which is now Envy. So yeah, a lot of history in these parts for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my whole collection of scooter parts that I have in my house. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, like I said before, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. Check out some of my other stuff when you're done watching this video. I think you'll really like it. And I truly do appreciate every single one of you that likes and subscribes. And if you made it all the way to the end, comment on this video. Let's try to confuse people. If you made it this far, comment the word mango under this video and I'll, I'll reply to everyone who comments mango m-a-n-g-o mango let's, let's try to confuse some people if they just come in the comments and they just see the word mango i think that'll be kind of funny but yeah again thank you guys for watching if you're looking to buy any scooter parts shop at crypticproscooters.com use code jake at checkout for 10 percent off of your order and i will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way i'm uploading every monday and friday so subscribe for two new videos every single week. I'll catch you guys. When you up at night, all alone, playing.